pledge my allegiance. I pledge my allegiance. Hi, I'm Rick Goodwin. I'm the director of God's Country for Venice Theater. It's the story of the rise of the white supremacist movement in the United States in the early 80s. The play is very unique because it, uh, it is nonlinear in style. It, it combines fiction with nonfiction, a theater of testimony. There's a spine of three different stories. The trial of the order, the group that was started by Robert J. Matthews. The Matthews story itself. And then the story of Alan Berg, the liberal disc jockey from Denver, who was assassinated by the group. It's part of living. We cling to our own. We're afraid of difference, but difference is the way we learn more. The play is a very challenging script because the actors will be playing multiple roles, uh, some of them as many as seven different characters. So this is my very first show. It's been wonderful. The cast has been very willing to help and I'm grateful for them. They're great. It's challenging, but the, the result always outweighs what it takes to get there. Mr. Matthews, that aren't you the most important member of the order? That's absurd. It was important to me to join this cast because it's a fascinating subject and it's very timely. Things are still happening today that were happening in 1982. Um, and so it's important for people to, to perhaps see where this started. And I wanted to be a part of it because I, I love challenging theater and I love learning about things that I didn't know anything about. Who did you understand Norman Lear to be? He was a television producer. No, why did the group think Mr. Lear deserved to be killed? Well, he was a Jew. Plus, it was said all of his programs were thought to be anti-white or attacking what we thought to be white moral principles. One of the unique factors of our show is that we are not using any props. We're miming everything. Tonight is a rehearsal. The elements we add in wardrobe and projection and music is going to add a lot to the show. We'll be using uh, music that ranges from classical right up to the modern era that will take the audience on the journey as we tell our story. We're getting really close and I can really see it all taking shape. My favorite part is watching everybody else. You know, when I, can, when I get to see it all coming together because they're amazing. Our fists are strong. Our heads are shaped for battle. I admire Venice Theater for taking on this challenging subject. And I admire Venice Theater for many of the shows they are actually putting on this year. I think it's important to exercise our minds and make us think. People should see God's country maybe just to allow themselves to feel more, whether that's bad or good, but allowing themselves to leave different than when they came in. God's Country is a play that puts a human face on liberty and justice for all. There are things that have been going on in the soul of this nation that speak to this issue. This play allows our community to take a look at the rise of domestic terrorism and violent extremism, and to have an opportunity to investigate it, to question it, to form a response to it through theatrical storytelling. Like it or not, racism and anti-Semitism still exist in this country and it needs to be and has to be addressed and theater is a good vehicle by which we can do that.